All right, here's the uh, final video of the install of the uh, XP cam intercooler and the heads. Uh, we did a couple other things too. I'll go over them with you. You can see there, you can see the heat exchanger. Let's see where I mounted it. Where the inland outlet for the fluid goes to. Um, came out pretty good. The install, I'm happy with it. Um, still smell a little antifreeze. Not sure what that is. Um, there's install as well. You can see the air cooler in there between the uh, intake and the supercharger. Um, here's where I put my fill. Um, you can see down there. That's where I put my fill, res, uh, overfill for the heat exchanger. Um, with uh, 2005 body style or 2004 plus body styles, you do have to get a uh, like a turn down for your throttle body for the flyby or the wireless throttle body. Um, I was hoping I'd have to do that, but you did. Um, but it turned out pretty good. I like it. It's a ZZP turn down. Um, turn looked, it looks really good. So I would take it. Um, here is my uh, fuel rails. You can see how they did that. They cut the tops. They uh, put them right there. Um, you see how that runs oh, in the back here. Um, I did delete my EGR valve, so that is now gone. Uh, go on the other side, you probably can see the black, the back off plates. Yeah, right down there. Right there, you can see the uh, for the EGR off the headers. And the whole cylinder piece is now gone. So um, that is good. I did have to go with uh, LQ4 uh, mass airflow sensor, so I had to go with a larger mass airflow sensor just for the um, uh, it's hard to see actually it's yeah you can barely even get that's right there and I got pretty tight I actually did that when I was going to dynode so um, I was running Running a couple problems when I was getting a dynode, and that was the reason why. Um, that's the kind of stuff I guess you don't really expect, but it happens. Um, went with the uh, 3.0 pulley. Uh, probably could have dropped down to like 2.9, um, but I was happy with uh, with a 3.0. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, I dynoed at 334 horsepower. Um, right around 400 pounds of torque. Um, it was uh, it was a good run. I was happy with it. If you step back, you can actually see how much higher the supercharger sticks up now. You can see it from the hood, and you can see that's probably I can't. I mean, it's bowed, so it misses it, but. Uh, it does look pretty sweet. I love how high it sits now. Um, let's see. Uh, start her up. Let's see what she sounds like. is on a uh, headers, a uh, three inch down pipe, no cap. I do have stock uh, cap back and I'm running stock mufflers. Uh, idea is to keep it as quiet as possible. Pretty loud. Run 
was good though. I like it. Um, yeah, that's half of the install. Uh, I'm not really sure what's gonna go on next, what I'm gonna do. Probably do a transmission, uh, little things, little stuff that needs to be tied up. But uh, I'm really happy with it, and uh, let me know if you have any questions about the install.